It's been a while since the last video on this channel, but it's a great reason to be back. The brand new Nikon Z9 or Z9, however you want. Let's find out which memory card is the best one and price performance recommendation. Okay, as always, let's start with some basic information about the Nikon Z8 camera. As you can see, the Z8 is equipped with one SD card slot and one CF Express card slot each. So two card slots, but compared to the Nikon Z9, that has two CF Express Type B card slot, you have to choose between CF Express and SD cards with the Z8. So, a slight step down or less professional, even though the rest of the Nikon Z8 is really similar up to, yeah, let's say 99% of the spec sheet to the Nikon Z9, which is great because at least in Europe the Nikon Z8 is roughly 1,500 euros, so let's say 1,700 US dollars cheaper, so it's a great price performance camera. But coming back to memory cards, so as you can choose, what should you choose? So let me demonstrate again CF Express card speed with the also relatively new Rocket series from Sabre and with 1800 megabytes per second. One of the fastest cards retested. So the camera is set up to 20 frames per second raw lossless recording so yeah not the most but yeah one of the most data you can get per second so you can hear 20 frames per second in the buffer and now let's say 15 estimation from my side and yeah it's already cleared so it's a quite fast camera the buffer in the nikon z8 as in the nikon z9 is really small roughly 20 to 25 images so that's not that much so the Nikon Z8 really rely on fast memory cards. Let me show you when we now switch to an SD memory card and not an yeah, slow one. The Kingston Canvas React Plus series, one of the fastest UHS-2 memory cards and doing basically the same test. So we're in the image buffer and now as the image buffer is full you can hear a clear difference. So maybe we are talking about three, four, five images per second. That's it, what you can reach with really good SD UHS-2 memory cards. So the basic decision should be easy, buying an CF Express Type B card and you will have the fastest speed available, right? Well, yes and no. Technically, yes, because the potential is much higher than with SD UHS-2 memory cards, but you should still pay attention which CF Express Type B card you get. Let me show you with this per gear one terabyte CF Express card. It's not a real no-name product, but let's say not a triple A manufacturer for memory cards like SanDisk, Lexa and some other brands. So, same test again, 20 frames per second, we're in the image buffer, everything is fine, but you can hear it's a huge difference compared to, let's say, the Sabre and card before. Yes, it is still faster than the fastest SD UHS-2 memory card, but let's say roughly 50%-ish faster. Meanwhile, and say when card is, I don't know, four times faster than the fastest SD UHS-2 memory card. So there's a huge difference in terms of speed you can achieve with the Nikon Z8 and CF Express Type B memory cards. So coming to price performance. Okay, I lied to you. Before we come to price performance, short interruption. If you want to see all results with the Nikon Z8, check out the link in the video description below where you can find both our rankings for CF Express and SD memory cards tested with the Nikon Z8. There's also a price performance recommendation updated every hour for both sections, so CF Express and SD memory cards. And if you want to have more convenience and clicking on the info card, unfortunately, we have to hit 1000 subscribers before we can activate that feature. So do yourself a favor and yeah, subscribe for the channel and now continue with price performance.
Yeah, it's a tough topic. I already demonstrated the Kingston Canvas React Plus. I could do the same test with cards like the Alexa 1800X. So both of them, let's say, yeah, affordable high-end mid-range to high-end UHS2 memory cards. So the same as before, 20 frames per second in the image buffer. Now the image buffer is filled up, let's say two to three frames per second. So much, much slower compared to CF Express Type-B memory cards. And the point is CF Express Type-B became really affordable during the last two or let's say three years. Before then, you often paid two to three times more per gigabyte. Now it's yeah, sometimes the other way around. So the Kingston Canvas React Plus or the Lexa 1800X are already really affordable, great price performance examples for SD UHS2 memory cards. Usually 75 cents per gigabyte, so that's really great. Other cards from, yeah, let's say Sandus, Sony, and some other manufacturers, usually above one euro, one US dollar per gigabyte, so a bit yeah, more expensive. Meanwhile, for yeah, a bit more, let's say the same price as Sony Tough G cards, a Sandus card, and some others, you can already get and yeah branded Nikon CF Express card or the Sabrent Rocket card I demonstrated before. It's usually 50 cents per gigabyte, so even cheaper on a per gigabyte scale than the best price performance recommendation with SD UHS2 memory cards. So basically there's no reason for your primary and that's the point memory card to be an SD UHS2 memory card because you get three, four, five times more performance for often the same price as with SD memory cards. So for your primary card, if you yeah, just doing a little bit of continuous shooting once in a while, grab and CF Express Type-B cards, they are more durable, more reliable, they are much faster in the camera and they read it on your PC. So in any case, CF Express Type-B for your primary memory card is the best choice. You could, if you really, really, really wish so, grab a cheap SD memory card like this one from Sanders, the Extreme 150 megabytes per second. It's an UHS-1 SD memory card, absolutely mid-range card. It's, it's a good price performance card, don't get me wrong, but as you can hear now, it's roughly a frame per second and even the buffer is not that big in the Nikon Z8. It takes some time and let's say you have a shooting 200, 300, 400 images, 45 megapixels, WAR or WAR plus JPEG, that's a lot of data and it takes some time to copy it from your car to your PC or notebook. So I don't really see a reason why you should buy an, yeah, let's say, say it like it is, and cheap SD memory card for such a great and already expensive camera, so invest a bit more. But there's one single reason why you should buy an SD memory card for a Nikon Z8, where the Nikon Z9 had two CF Express Type-B card slots, you now have CF, CF Express Type-B plus SD memory card slot. So let's say you are a wedding photographer and you're saying, okay, better safe than sorry, I want to have an on-site backup. So let's say saving your raw images on the CF Express card and your JPEG or Hive backup on the SD memory card. It's the only possibility because there is no second CF Express Type-B card slot, unfortunately. So you have to buy an SD memory card slot if you have a, if you want to have a backup in your camera. So, and therefore we also tested 30 SD memory cards with the Nikon Z8. If you want to find that information, again, check out the link in the video description below. Final thoughts, what a beast in terms of memory card performance. Over one gigabyte per second real world wide speed in the Nikon Z8 with CF Express Type-B memory cards. It's pretty amazing and also in general a really enjoyable camera. So if you can get your hand around one of those, absolutely do so, it's a lovely camera. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time and until then, take care, goodbye.